So we're moving from where we left off in the last video where we talked about definition, the triple split in terms of this particular design. And then we're moving down and you will see that we've separated the design, the unconscious data from the personality or the conscious data. Now the design date, this is always in UTC, Universal Coordinated Time Format. So this design date is representing that 88 degrees of the sun before birth that is critical in terms of the human design calculation. Then we have these what are basically subline elements and you might not necessarily go through these in a basic foundation design but certainly as people get into their experiment they want to know more and more and it's very important I believe in an early human design reading to give them some sense that their inner authority actually is just a mechanism of the brain's intelligence. The brain is the biocomputer for the bio form. And you can see here this field brain, it says passive. And that passive is related to the R next to the design sun and earth. So this is a brain, it's not passive, not doing anything. It's passively taking in enormous amounts of information. And that's as opposed to an L there, which would be an active brain. It's actively processing strategic information. And again, in other videos, I will be going through the components of what is called the variable. This R is an aspect of this person's variable, which is the quantum, the synthesis of these four arrows. So this variable is a P-R-R-D-R-L. And the detail within that variable is shown in these orange circles and the green triangles. So here on the design side of this foundation chart, the determination ultimately is a byproduct of that one. This is a first color determination. And because this is a fourth tone brain, it means it's set to the right. So this means that the determination is an alternating first color dietary regime and again I will be taking you through all of these dietary regimes and what they mean and how to access them in other videos. The next field down cognition is the four in the green triangle it's a consistent format on any quantum chart that you open so really this is quite important because ultimately this four is the cognition that your inner authority is calling on in order to make that decision or movement so this is an emotional inner authority that's tuned in to the inner visual capacity of this brain that is ultimately what's driving this decision if you had a three there in that green triangle well this would be an inner authority that's driven by outer strategic vision by what it sees out there there. But this, the inner vision, is taking all of that passive information that's come in and then is looking inwards to assess the potential of that next movement. The two other aspects in the design area of the foundation quantum chart here are the physical environment. This is part of what is called the independent design variable the brain variable is called the dependent variable so this environment is always the color of the unconscious design node so here we have a fifth color which is a valley environment and that narrow really is referring to the l or the r that would potentially be there so an l5 color is a narrow valley environment where this bioform is designed to be most effective in its socializing work and so on its interaction with other people it's designed to meet those people in a valley environment 
and that environmental style again is pointing to the nature of the L or the R. The L means that this is an active, busy person. So in terms of the social milieu, they're not really waiting around to see what other people are doing. This person is active. I'm going swimming, says this person. Would you like to come with me? But I'm going swimming anyway. That's the active L nature of this person in the environment. And this is why this environmental style is observed. The busy, active people are the ones that that are observed. The other is the R, which is the observer. Moving over to the personality, the black side, which is the next data section on this foundation chart. Well, personality is referring to the top black R, which is the dependent variable. This means that this person has a receptive mind, again, taking in enormous amounts of information. And it's a mind in its receptivity that is there to be a kind of resource for others. You ask this person a question, they are designed in their receptiveness to pull out that answer if they've had access to it through any part of their life and you get access to that resource. It doesn't mean that they can remember it if they ask that question of themselves. That's not the point of a right mind. Again, there will be other videos on these subjects. Then we move to motivation. So this is the correct motivation for this receptive mind. So the sixth there is innocence. And if this person is acting through the design authority basis here and the mind is free then to see and is not partaking in the decision making process as the not self boss well this innocence motivation will then yield the intelligence that goes with that motivation which is the fifth tone here which is called the sense and this is the sense called judgment again detail in other videos and that correct motivation and sense then yields the correct trajectory for this mind's development. There's a big difference between the personality crystal and the design crystal. The design crystal can lock, the personality crystal cannot lock. It's a movement between this and that, and this is why the mind is pointed on its trajectory of development. And again, I will go through that in great detail, but that's very, very important in terms of true awareness to be aligned to your correct trajectory. Then we move to the conscious nodes. This is called the view. And again, the color there is the field called view. So this is someone with a view perspective that is peripheral. That's what the R means. So they're seeing through the full 180 degree arc of the retina. They're taking in information in from everywhere. They're not focused on particular elements of that information stream coming Coming in is just all coming in to be seen and then is streaming into this receptive mind and below that is the way they are designed to see so this is someone designed to see probabilities in that peripheral view and there's also a tone aligned to that when you are seeing correctly there are two fields below this called transferred motivation and transferred view. If you have a look at the shadow view video, I talk all about this transferred motivation in terms of the not self mind. But in short, that sixth color correct motivation that this mind will align to when their inner authority is driving their process. Well, when the mind is in charge, you don't get that innocence, which means you don't get your mental trajectory which means you're not aligned to your purpose you get the transferred motivation so this is someone that would go from an innocent kind of floaty mind to a really really driven desire driven mind and that is completely the antithesis of what is going to fulfill them so the transferred motivation is showing you what this person will lapse into when they are not self 
self and again if you are not self if the mind is driving your game you will not be seeing correctly either because that is corrupted and instead of seeing a probabilities the value of which you will mentally bump into as a three six and out of that adapt to that and make some money whatever the particular focus of this planning cross is well, you're going to start seeing possibilities. And this is not someone that has the cognition to know what possibilities are genuine possibilities and what possibilities are pie in the sky. This is someone designed to see probabilities, not possibilities. And then finally, below that, in the data section, we've given you a list of all of the channels that form the definition in this person's design. Thank you.